Prudent man foreseeth evil and hides himself. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. That's the name of the Holy Father, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who we even call God, right? And his son, in the name of his son, you know, Yahweh Shai, who we ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you know, who deserves all praises, all right, and all honor and all glory, okay? Shalom to the elders, apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. <clears throat> Peace and salutations to the hopefully let, all right? To the Akim out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice, right? Blocking the darts, the fiery darts of Satan, okay? With that shield of faith. I want to say shalom to you brothers, man, and keep up the fight because I understand it's a spiritual fight, man. You know, and I know that fight is, 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 is very, very hard, okay? Uh, to the Aquat out there, which is the sisters out there listening and learning in silence, right? <clears throat> as the scriptures uh, say to do so, I want to say shalom to you few sisters as well, all right? And, 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 hey, I, I know you getting, you know, you getting attacked as well too, all right? I just want to, you know, encourage you to um, keep fighting as well too under your man, <clears throat> all right? Today's lesson I want to go into is um, Proverbs 22 and 3, all right, talks in about, talking about a, a prudent man, all right, going to be real quick, you know, a prudent man, um, the heading of this title is uh, on life and, and conduct, right, pretty much a prudent man foreseeth evil, man. And hides itself, right? And pretty much that's what what we, we doing, starting with the apostles and the elders on down. All right, is we pretty much hiding ourselves under the covering of Yahweh Shai, man. Right, of your under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Y'all gotta forgive me. I just woke up. All right, and I just got right into the lesson. I feel. Feel good, feel great this morning. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, a prudent man, you know, uh, uh, hides itself. And, and what are we hiding ourselves, you know, under the, under the, uh, you know, under the protection of the Lord, man? Right? Okay? Under the protection of the Lord. Okay? And that's exactly what we do. We run to the Lord, man, for protection, man, for, co for a covering. All right? Why? So, you know, the, the, the troubles and the evils, all right, won't come on to us, man. All right? Also, it won't come on to, you know, the people that, you know, that, 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 that that's around us as well, too. Okay? If it be the Lord's will. Okay? So, that protection we need, man. It's almost like a, a witness protection, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Almost like witness protection, right? And we are witnesses, man, right? When you go into that word witness, man, breaking it down, it breaks down to a martyr, man. All right? So right now we're under a witness protection program, okay? Why? Because we witness, we're witnessing the atrocities and the evil Okay, of this devil, man, Esau, Edom. We're witnessing the atrocities of this devil, man. All right, that's 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 <laughs> putting these certain snares and gins, all right, on our people, man, and saying, "Look, look, Lord, <laughs> this is what we said, look, Lord, see, he he don't really he's not really following you." But he snet the he set the snare, all right. And he's the accuser of the brother. Okay, so 
this this devil has to be stopped. And this is why we need Yahweh Shai, you know, under this witness protection program, man. Okay? And what happens in the witness protection program? They hide the witness. Why? Because it's a it's a it's it's a possibility that that witness might what? Uh get killed. You know? That's the first thing that they want to do is what? Kill a witness. Okay? The first thing they want to do is kill the witness. Okay? That's first. Why? Because that witness is 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 a, is a, is a, a he he actually seen a, a murder or a crime being committed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The biggest crime being committed, right? Is him touching the uh, apple of the Most High eyes, man. Israel. Okay. Now let's get into the scripture. I'm gonna just bring a couple scriptures out, man, and we're gonna go from there. All right. See where the Spirit takes us, and ain't gonna be too long. I said Proverbs 22 and 3 says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself." Right. But we not really hiding ourselves. But guess what? Hey, the Lord is protecting us. But we got to really see it. That's our conduct to actually see it. All right. And then guess what? Pray to the Lord and the Lord going to give us the protection. <clears throat> it said, but the simple pass on and are punished. Hey, the, the simple don't pay the Lord no attention. Right. They pass on by. Right. And guess what? And the Lord got a great punishment for them. Hey, no different than when we on the highways and byways, man. They see us out there. Hey, wonder why we don't have a big uh, following or a big drawing in. Hey, guess what? Hey, because we don't have no gimmicks. Okay? So they pass us on every time we out there on the highways and byways. Every time. Okay? So what we be doing is we really hiding ourselves under the protection of the Lord because we understand his evil's coming, man. It's evil's coming upon this earth. And we are witnesses. We, 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 we're telling them before it come. Right? So we are under the covering of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Salaki. All right? And they pass us on every weekend and week out. Okay? So they're not going to have no protection in the day of the Lord. When the Lord really bringing this real wrath, you know, and he's starting now. Okay. He's starting now. It's just the beginning of woes. As the scriptures uh, pursues to it, um, Matthew 24. All right. These are the beginning of woes. All right. It said the simple pass on and are punished. Right. So, let's look up this word prudent, just for edification's sake. Right? It say, <laughs> it say, uh, um, let me see, Arum. Arum. Psalms H, 6175. Arum, Arum, right. Second and entry, Arum, Arum, right. And as subtle, man, shrewd, meaning wise, right. Crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, shrewd, sensible, or prudent. Okay, we are the shrewd stewards, man. All right, what's that? Uh, Luke chapter sixteen about the uh the, the steward. I'm starting at one. Okay, the unrighteous steward. Oh, and we are stewards. Okay, in 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 this thing of uh, in this house of uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We are stewards, man. A steward is a manager. Okay. 
And what is the manager's or steward's job, man? To be able to uh, foresee the evil, warn the people, to be able to uh, be, be in control of the finances and control of the protection. All these things in the house, they cleans the house, you know, make sure that he's the upkeeper of the house. Okay? Like a manager, man. All right? So he has to make sure everything is intact. Okay? So, let's see what the root word says. It says, ooh, it says to be subtle, be shrewd, be crafty, beware. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you hear that? Beware. Right? You hear that? Pretty much to be wise, man. Right? So if you prudent, do you a wise man? And then you see you see the atrocities and you see the evils that's coming, right? Then guess what? We hide ourselves under the protection of the Lord. We got to put ourselves in witness protection program. All right? All right? And how do we hide ourselves? Let's go to Psalms chapter 91. Right quick. Let's go to Psalms chapter 91. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Security. Ooh. <laughs> Security of the ones who trust in the Lord, right? So pretty much, hey man, we gotta trust in the Lord, man. We got to have that trust under the Lord in order for the Lord to protect us. Security. Right? Let's look up the word security before we start. Right? Let's look up this word security before we start. Security. Right? Early 15th century. Secure right. All right? State or condition of being safe from danger or harm. You see that? And, and guess what, man? And the Lord promised us, man, he was going to be our protection, man. And we about to read that in Psalm 91. It says, state or condition of being safe from danger or harm, freedom from care or anxiety. And man, the Lord knows, you know what I'm saying, we be in a state of anxiety, man. Okay? Why? Because we don't know what, uh, 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 what was the outcome, pretty much. That's usually why you be in anxiety. Because you cannot predict the outcome. All right? But it's not for you to predict. And the Lord already prophesied and predicted it. It's his movie. We just got to play out in it and trust in the role that he put us in. All right? It says, um, freedom from care, free from care. All right? Uh, but you get the point. You get the point. Psalms 91 is security of the one who trusts in the Lord. This is how you hide yourself. It said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Who's that? Yahweh, man. And his son, Yahweh shot. All right. And it said, dwelleth, man. That word dwelleth goes into like stay or, or, or where you stay at in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. It's in the secret place of the Most High, right? Shall abide under the uh, shadow of the um, Almighty. Okay, what's well, like? What's the shadow, man? The shadow is like protection, man. Like shade, right? The shade is there, what to protect you from the very hot rays of the sun. Okay, is to keep you cool in the in the heat. Okay. That's what it's for. And that's what the Lord is here for. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shot? Look at that word dwell it. <laughs> to remain. <laughs> Strong's H thirty four twenty seven. Yashav. Right. Yashav. Yep. Yashab, right, is to dwell, to remain, sit, abide, right, to sit, sit down, 
to be set, to remain, stay, right? Have one's abode, man, right? You see that? <clears throat> hey, what what is what is that protection, man? That protection is the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he gave us that comfort, man, right? It, look at this. It's saying, to marry. You see that? And the Lord has bidded us to the marriage, man. And what we we are adorning ourselves under the protection, right? Getting ready to get married. Married in with who? The Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, really. It said to be inhabited, right? To make dwell. You get the point? Okay. Right. So what? We pretty much we supposed to stay. You know, under uh, in this truth, man. Because this truth is the protection. <laughs> All right, this truth is the protection, man. Under the under the words of, uh, of Yahweh Shai, man. Right, these words is the comfort. These words are the comfort, man. Okay. Okay, so it says that secret place is this truth. It says. Uh, let's go back very quick and finish reading. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret presence of the Most High shall abide, right, under the shadow of the Almighty. How do we do that? We stay in this truth, man. All right. It says, <clears throat> right, so anybody, that means, hey, anybody that gets up out of this protection, up out of, pretty much out of the truth, right, they, hey, they, they pretty much in traffic. With no headlights in the dark. That's pretty much equivalent to riding down the down the road with no headlights, right? In the dark. You, you know, you can't see. All right. It says, verse 2, I will stay of the Lord. You hear that? Stay, right? That's that dwelling. Salakia. It said, I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, right? That word translates to power. In him will I trust. Okay? It said he is my refuge. Hmm, now you're thinking, what's a refuge? What's a fortress? What's a refuge? Right? Let's look up refuge first. It says a shelter, right? <laughs> a shelter. Hold on, let me. Strong's eight forty two sixty eight. Maxe. 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 Right. Second entry. Maxe. Maxe. Okay. All right. Which means what? Refuge, shelter, hope. All right. Trust. You see that? All right. A shelter, man. Hey, from rain or storm, from danger. You see that? Hey, the Lord is promising great danger coming upon this earth. All right? Great danger. Okay? It's a storm that's coming, man. Hey, so we, we like what? Spiritual weather, man. All right? I always like to bring that out. We like spiritual weather, man. All right? We tell you, we read in the Doppler, that the Doppler, what, is, is, the, is the scriptures, man. Right? How they do, you know, how they read that little screen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To be able to tell where the storm going or where the snow going or, you know what I mean? Where the hurricane is going to be at, right? Or they predicting an earthquake, they predicting a tight, whatever it is, right? A storm, right? So that's what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? The Lord gave us a job to be spiritual watchmen or weathermen, Okay. So we can be able to hide ourselves from the danger. You know what I mean? And that's what happens when you when they predicting a tornado might come or something like that. What they, what they do? Hey, they run to a shelter. They run to a bunker, whatever it is, you know? Hey, these elites know, you know, that danger is coming, man. That's just why this is why they creating their shelter. All right? They're bunkers, you know what I'm saying? That they're building underground. That's really that's and that's really not no protection. That's gonna be penetrated. Right? 
that's going to be penetrated, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right? So they really ain't got no protection. They have a what? What to say? A falsehood. They got a falsehood of or a false sense of security. All right? But we have that true security, man. Why? Because we have the protection of the Lord. Can nothing penetrate that once you know once you protect it under the Lord? Nothing. All right? <clears throat> so that hey, that's that's what it is. That's what the Lord promised us. Now, as we looked up refuge, let's look up fortress. Right? Strong's H, 4686. Matsud. Matsud. Okay. Second entry. Metsuda. Metsuda. All right. Which means net. Pray. Net pray. Right? Net. Or pray, fastness, stronghold. Let's see what the root says. Siege works, bulwark, hunt. Right, you know what I'm saying. A fortress is 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 something that you know you build around. You know you build around for protection. You know that has walls. You know. Okay, it's a stronghold, as it says. All right. So what we we're building that stronghold, you know that stronghold around the protection of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man, which is in His Word. Okay, it says, <clears throat> let me keep reading on. It says, "I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Pretty much, He's my protection, oh my power." It said, "In Him will I trust." You see that. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. That noisome pestilence, man. Hey, that's the, that's the missiles, man. Okay? That's the missiles, man. All right? Esau Edom <laughs> is that snare of the fowler, man. All right? He's the one who's putting that snare out there. To trying to trap us up. Okay. It said verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers. You see that? No different than how a bird may cover uh, their chicks. Okay. Why? Under protection. It said and under his wings shalt thou trust. You see that? His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You hear that? His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, right? So what? This word, right? And through faith is the shield, okay? Real quick, let's get uh, Ephesians 6 right quick. And let's prove that, that faith, <clears throat> right? Let's get that. And then we're going to jump back over here, all right? It says what? This is a war, man. We, we, we pretty much gearing up for war. It said the armor of the Most High. Let's get straight to the point. It says right here. <clears throat> it's like the whole armor, right? It said, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Right? That ye may be able to withstand the evil day. You see that? This is why we need that protection. Right? So we can withstand that evil day. And having done all to stand, right? Being firm. Right? Let's get to the point. It said, verse 16, above all, taking what? The shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You see that? Okay? Quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. And what is a dart, man? Hey, a dart is equivalent to what? Is that is that what? That MOTB, man. That karagma. That stake. Okay? That they are trying to implement 
and put that, um, you know, put that, you know, RFID in your body, man. Okay? <laughs> you feel me? It says the shield of faith. All right? So we can go back to um, Psalms 91, and then we'll close up. It's lucky. Okay? It said Psalms 91. And, 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 and four it said, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Right? Verse five, thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by the day. Right? And that's those, 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 that's those what? Missiles, man. Okay. An uh, arrow is 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 is, is like is likened to a missile in today's time, right? If you can imagine how an arrow, you shoot an arrow in the sky, right, right, and it comes down on us on this opponent, right, and that's what those uh, missiles is gonna do, all right. So the Lord is is promising us the protection, all right, and we paying for that protection. What with our sacrifice? This is how we pay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when you want protection. From a mob, or we want protection from uh, us, the police, or whatever it is. Hey, you gotta pay them off, right? Hey, it's no different than what what we doing now, man. Except the payment ain't no money or no gold, right? The payment is you, <laughs> pretty much. You gotta put in the work, all right. And depending on your faith, it's gonna depend on the protection you get, right? It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by the day. You see that? Okay. It said, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes by noonday. All right. And the Lord promises us protection, man. All right. We're in a witness protection program, man. All right. It said, a th verse 7, a thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. And he's showing us a glimpse of that right now, man. Hey, over 50,000 people just, just died in, in Syria, man, and in Turkey. Okay? And they're and counting, and they're still finding bodies. All right? Hey, and it's closer than what we think. Hey, that's coming to that's coming to a city near you. Okay. They say it was an earthquake, but you know, hey, they always tracking back, you know, to the west, which is Babylon the Great, formerly, I mean, uh, 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 better known as you know America. Right. Verse eight says, "Only with thine eyes." Shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, right? Yeah. We're going to see the reward of the wicked, man. Hey, the wicked ultimately is Esau Edom pursuing the Malachi 1 and 4, right? But you have two-thirds of, of the wicked people of Israel as well, too. And the reward is to see the destruction, man, under that sea of glass that the Lord promised us. Come out of her, my people. Hey, as soon as we come up, hey, the Lord hey, promised us, you know what I'm saying, we, we was going to be able to see that hellfire. We was going to see that fire beneath us. You know? On earth. Because hell is the place of judgment. Earth is the place of judgment, man. Which is hell. With those nuclear fire, with that nuclear fire. Okay? It said, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Hey, you know what? <clears throat> Let me get that sea of glass right quick. Right? This is, uh... Right. Revelation 4 and 6, it says, and before the throne... There was a sheer glass like unto the crystal in the midst of the throne. Nah, this is right here. 
Right, this is right here. Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. All right? This is when the Lord going to come back, you know, and, 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 and beam us up, man. All right? And beam us up, and we're going to have those new bodies, man. In the midst of us being, 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 beaming us up, man, within the twinkling of, of an eye. And it said, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. You're going to be able to see that kind of like, a, um, you know, one of those globes you shake up or a globe. It gonna, it's going to look like a sea of glass, man. Right. <laughs> and you're going to be able to see that at the Lord is going to protect us, man, on our way up. It said mingle with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Right. And over his image. Right. And over his and over his image and over his mark. You see that? Which is that Karagma, man. And over the number of his name. Right. Six, six, six. Stand on the sea of, of, of glass, having the harps of the most high. Right. You see that? Hey, we're going to be able to see the earth mingled with fire, man. You see that? Okay. Because we got victory over this system, man, this Roman system, man. Okay. We could go back. It said, only th with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And that's going to be the reward of the wicked. Fire. You hear that? Fire, man. Okay? Fire, man. It says, verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord, all right, which is my refuge. You see that? Which is the protection. Even the most high, thy habitation. Right. Hey, the Lord is staying in our minds. Hey, the Lord is our habitation. That's where we stay. Okay? That's where we abode. The Lord is abolding in us. Cause, hey, hey, we, we have we gonna have protection from that, man. It says, There shall no evil befall thee. Hey, the Lord is promising us no evil. Right. Even if we was to get taken, hey, we, we hey, we gonna be changed just like that. That's why the scriptures say, "Be now faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." All right, yeah. So some of us, hey, some witnesses get get caught, but guess what? It's all for the better. It's all through the spirit. The scriptures told us to be faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. It says, uh, for, uh, verse 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You see that? It says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee all in all thy ways. You see that? Hey, what's that scripture where it said the angels encampeth around uh, those that fear him, man. Roughly paraphrase. Okay? The angels encamp around those that fear him. Okay? The Lord is promising us protection, man. Right? And we ain't got to pay with no silver, no gold, man. We got to pay with us our lives. By doing the work. It says, um, Verse 12, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the, a stone, right? And, and this is this is uh, what Satan tried to tempt uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, okay, when he went to the wilderness to jump off and pretty much commit suicide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're not going to just get on no building and jump off of no building. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, we, we don't need to tempt the Lord. As Yahweh Shah said. All right? It's going to be a time and a place for this. Okay? Hey, Satan was trying to get him to commit suicide. And that's what he's going to try to do to us as well, too. He's going to try to have, get, hey, get us to commit suicide and take ourselves out. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. That ain't the way it's going to go. All right? It says, verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath, he hath set his love upon me. You see that? Okay? Hey, we're going to be in league with the animals, man. Okay? We're going to be in league with the animals at that time. The, hey, the animals is waiting on us to come back in power anyway. The whole earth is. It said, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Right? And the Lord going to deliver us, man. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. You see that? What is the name? Yahweh, man. All right? By Hashem, Yahweh shot. Not Jesus. Not Yahweh. Not God. He said, verse 15, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show my salvation. Right? And with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rukakadash Wa Aba Abal Shalom.